trying to hide. Silence! Demon is dead. Andraste be praised. She shielded you from its touch. We've numbers across Thedas, but we let this happen. Our officers either failed to see it, or were complicit. The Templars are ready to hear what the Inquisition needs of us. If that thing hanging over our heads doesn't terrify you, you're braver souls than I. The Inquisition can't seal the breach on its own. We need the Templar's help. Everyone needs your help. You speak truths we should never have ignored. But the Order is leaderless, gutted by betrayal. We must rebuild it. Your order is a symbol that holds the people's respect. That cannot die today. We offer you an alliance. Supplies, weapons, grounds to shelter you. All we ask is you help us close the breach. Do we take the Inquisition's terms, brothers and sisters? <laughs> the Templars will come. I hope your stronghold is ready. We'll be ready for anyone willing to throw their hat in with us. Officers betraying their soldiers, Templars without leaders, a demon imitating the Lord Seeker. We should have taken them to task. The crimes they've committed. Were committed by their officers. The soldiers of the Order will serve. These crimes put them at our mercy. 
Yet, the terms of this alliance do not benefit the Inquisition as they should. You should have consulted us, Herald. The Order was in chaos. We had to shape it going forward or risk losing it entirely. An alliance with the Templars was our desired outcome. May we discuss their imminent arrival? A few dozen veterans are coming ahead of the rest to help seal the breach. How soon until these veterans arrive? They're almost here. Templars don't like to be late. Make them. Wait! I came with you to help. I would have told you before, but you were busy. That's fine, Cole. You just startled us, appearing out of thin air. I wasn't air. I was here. You didn't see me. Most people don't until I let them. Call the guards. This creature is not what you... A moment, please, Cassandra. I would like to hear why he came. You help people. You made them safe when they would have died. I want to do that. I can help. Why and how would you help the Inquisition? The hole in the sky is too loud for spirits to think. It's pulling, pushing out pain. I want to stop it. How altruistic of you. I want to help. I can be hard to see. I can kill things that would hurt people. I, I won't get in the way. Cole saved my life in Theronfall. I couldn't have defeated Envy without him. But what does he want now? I think he really is trying to help. I won't be in the way. Tiny, no trouble. No notice taken unless you want them to. You're not honestly suggesting we give him run of the camp. Not freely, perhaps, but it seems a waste to... Hold on. Where did he go? I'm sure we'll find him somewhere. Yes, we must make sure of that. I'll have people watch the boy. But let's not be distracted from the breach. We'll need your help when the Templar veterans arrive. Take time to prepare while you can. My miners appreciate your business. You'll have your lyrium by the end of the week. I should tell you, Ambassador, the Chantry raised some fuss when they learned about our arrangement. The Inquisition must certainly seem an audacious idea to the Grand Clerics. We hope to convince them it is a necessary one as well. I understand you were instrumental in garnering the assistance of the Templars. It is well done. And I pray this Inquisition fares better than the Chantry in its handling of magic. We will try. In some ways, Andraste had the simpler task. Magic should serve man, and not rule over him. That tells us what should be, but it does not tell us how to get there. So many times the methods of men have undone the spirit of their goal. Once you have sealed the breach, we shall see whether this Inquisition is truer to the Chantry, or its own namesake. How are the people doing after what happened at the Conclave? They are scared, of course. Many have lost homes or loved ones. I doubt many will sleep well until you have sealed the breach. I have offered what help I can. The rest is for the Inquisition. What more do you wish to know? What are you doing to help these people? My sisters and I have been tending to the injured, as best we are able. Some refugees come with food, while others arrive empty-handed. I have helped ensure that all have enough to eat. Beyond that, many simply wish the familiar comfort of the Chantal Flight. It is little enough work to offer some comfort to those in pain. Do you have information on people elsewhere? 
The refugees in the hinterlands are desperate. Without help, starvation or war will claim many lives. Villagers in Crestwood are besieged by their own dead. They have sent word begging for assistance. People are vanishing in the hills of Empress de Lyon. It may be demons or something worse, but they are terrified. More than that, I cannot say. It is a chaotic time for all in Olay and Ferelden. How are the villagers in Haven doing? You did well to gain the Templars to your cause. The people have hope that the breach may be sealed. Some of them are returning to the lives they fled, others are starting fresh. In either case, they no longer believe the world as they know it is ending. Farewell. Until next time. I'll take my leave. Good day. Who was she, Ambassador? A merchant. I thought we should reach out to the Dwarves to secure Illyrium for the Inquisition's Templars. According to Lady Corpin, it raised the ire of the Chantry. Oh. Access to Lyrium makes us rather more formidable than I anticipated. We're becoming a challenge. Sadly, the remaining Grand Clerics appear to be consolidating the Chantry's power, instead of comforting the masses. Mage circles started falling years ago. The Chantry was troubled even before the Divine's murder. Yet many people continue to bear it great love. We will not benefit from its decline. Little but the Chantry ties Orlais, Nevara, Ferelden, Antiva, and even Rivain to a common cause. Has the Chantry truly promoted such peace? Anrasti's chant is familiar across kingdoms, a source of many shared customs. That is the crucial point. Common ground is the start of all negotiations. Are you sure? Families often fight the hardest. Having grown up among four siblings, I concede your point. I found, however, that the only time two parties cannot negotiate is when they cease to speak. We must learn to think beyond our own wants, to secure peace in Thedas. How did someone so lovely and selfless go into our Lesian politics, Lady Montelier? Well, that is, uh... <laughs> really, you give me too much credit. While you're here, I do have a question. The remaining Grand Clerics sent a missive inquiring about the events at the Temple of Sacred Ashes. They demand to know whether the Inquisition officially claims that Andraste saved you from the breach. If it were up to you, how would you reply? I'd tell the Chantry that Andraste herself shielded me from harm. I'd truly like to hear the debates that would raise in Val Royo. Thank you for your thoughts. A good day to you.